Hello, beautiful folks. I thought that spooky jump scare mansion we met play was just a show that came in to get into the Halloween climate. But then, I've seen that people like that video more than they like the TF2 video showing dapper stars that some commented to make more and that some replied yes to my comment about making more. So I'm doing this second episode for you, beautiful folks. And also because I wanted it. Alright, so remember when I had to leave to wipe my ass after facing Samara? I made a mistake, because I had to do these first rooms, from the third floor again, getting through the cardboard cutouts, then that fucking ghost again, until then I reached the 200th room. The fourth floor! Can this shit go even slower? Wait, arcade machines? Well, why not? Let me first try this Pac-Man game! So, I control Spooky as one of the ghosts in this game? Interesting. This game! Let me see this other one. Whoa, this is some intense shit right here, folks. I'm playing something that I see and should review, even if this is from an arcade machine inside a free-to-play game. So, what happens when that bar drops to zero? Oh, I lose. Fuck you too, Spooky. Okay, enough. Am I in Silent Hill now? What the fuck is this place? Look at those details! If I put some soundtrack from Silent Hill, will everyone think I closed this game to play something else? Oh, a note! Okay, this is pretty much Silent Hill-ish. Or not. Whatever, I never played Silent Hill but I know some stuff, okay? Another note. Wait, I think I fucked up. Did I set Silent Hill? I think I meant the exorcist. What the hell is this? Who are you? Well, I think it's sleeping, so fuck this old man. Uh, now the place became foggy for some reason. I think Pyramid Head is closed. What the actual fuck is this shit? Fuck this. Nothing much to see, just some broken doors, spooky scene, and... Holy fucking shit, it's the naked slender man! He is trying to play the pyramid head at me! Oh, what was that? But then, I'm so glad I had to walk in backwards. Did you even see what cardboard cutout was? A zombie face that could have made me paint my whole chair brown. Also, what the hell is happening? I'm either getting crazy, or this place is getting fucked up by the naked slender man to trick me. I mean, getting fooled by faceless hazard, with no clothes, fuck you. Oh, you're back again purple slime? Nice try, but I already told you I'm already getting immune to cardboard cutouts. Well, most of them, I guess. I don't trust about how that shit walks too slowly, what if it suddenly teleports at me? That was a shitty noise. That was a shit of a spooky noise. I escaped. Freedom motherfuckers. Oh, so we meet up again spooky. So, you made it this far. That's, uh, that's great. 
I shall grant you a gift a for gift? your progress. So, uh, I'll just keep going. Please, tell me it's an unusual TF2 hat. Saving the game, trying to decorate this complicated password code. Nice portrait though, I guess that's Spooky's mother. Oh, please don't tell me it's the naked Slenderman. You call that jump? Oh fuck! Okay, sorry! I'm ready for what is coming next. Guys, this is like the fifth time I visit the room with a computer, but look! We got new specimens to meet! Like the happy mask salesman's puppet. Uh, Jaiga's. The devil here. This shit that looks like Donald Trump and I don't know why this one is corrupted. What the fuck is this shit? Please don't tell me it's a walking killer pussy with teeth. Oh, and a devil. What the hell? I was in Silent Hill and now I am in Zelda. Looks at those torches. Look at this door! Doesn't those resemble anything? I guess it's the place where I might meet the happy mask salesman's puppet. Oh, I'm fucked. Damn it, this story is so sad to read. Damn, right in the fields. Wait a second. Children being drowned. Sounds pretty similar to something else. Still, this is sad. Sometimes I keep this thought about how the humanity causes the rising of antagonists. And then, these antagonists make such creepy things like these and people wonder why. Oh shit. This skull is quite creepy, but it's a nice reference to the boss room from the Zelda games. Oh, there he is. Uh... Uh, will he even do anything to me? Oh shit, I saw that! He moved! Just making sure if he will get close at me. I have experienced him before but I didn't record it, I touched him and then he hurt me. I died, but then I noticed that you got to keep looking at him if he- And he moved again! Trying to hide something on his back! Oh fuck, I don't like this. I don't fucking like this. Where did he go? I'm just running, he is creeping me out. Help. Damn it, those sounds are giving me the chills. Have I told you how this song is catchy though? Oh shit, get off my life. Go back to anti tentacle monster. Oh, wow, I escaped. Well, that was like fleeing from SCP-173. I think you drank some tomato extract. Tomato is iron rich, yeah? Oh shit. I recognize this. The naked Slenderman is back. Do you know why this is happening? Because he doesn't have eyes to see that there's a fucking wall blocking his way. No wonder why I love this game, it's so realistic sometimes. Ah! Wait, am I seeing some noise on my screen? Oh shit, locked door. Hopefully I'm not experiencing some foolish. <laughs> Wish me good luck sleeping after that. Damn, I think this is getting longer than the first episode. Hopefully you don't mind about it. But this is gonna be my last floor, and then I'm done for the next episode. Not sure if this is glitched or intentional. Okay, okay. What now? There's hold of consciousness. What is the meaning of this all? What the hell? A cat. 
It's so beautiful. Well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? After running through many rooms and being chased by creepy monsters, yes. This place can help those who are ready, but expect turmoil more than you are used to. Wise words. But I don't think I'm ready for this. What even is a turmoil? Oh, interesting. What the actual hell are those things? Two sides of the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you achieve freedom. Okay, I don't get this sentence, but I suppose she means that. Uh, that. Can someone please tell me? The mask you wear serves its purpose well, but be careful not to lose yourself in it. Mask? This is my face and the thing around it is actually my pullover. Wait, I think she refers about how I pretend to be courageous, while behind my expressions, I'm scared. Whoa! I'm in space! Balance is key to keeping your mind free and sane. Does that mean the space and these pleasing sounds makes my mind sane? Oh well. Oh shit, blood? Okay, that is a signal. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you. But be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Wait, to see what I'd rather not be? Zombies? Well, they can infect me and I technically would- What? Am I reaching hell? This song. This ambient. I'm loving it, am I? Of course, I'm not even scared at all. Holy shit, it's Jaiga's. Chayigas from Earthbound merged with a wall of flesh from Terraria. Those creepy faces, these white things on the walls that looks like legs and these symbols. What the fuck? Okay, that wasn't so hard, the thing stopped, rooms came back to normal, nothing much. Oh fuck. The green shit is back. I wanna go home. I can't take this anymore. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> Here you are, alive and still here. You just keep on going, don't you? Well, the next door has been fixed up for you. So enjoy, and keep moving on, you little fleshy live one. Thank you for that name, though. Wow, that's a cheesy password.